the big day, WCCO will be hosting an epic tug of war event called Pulling Together and teams from Minneapolis and St. Paul will compete for bragging rights and all the money raised will go to help Frazier, a local nonprofit serving people with special needs. So we have Minneapolis, right. teams like the Twins, Surly, of course, Frank. There is Frank, yes. Minnesota I'm on United. Chris's team over mm -hmm. here on St. Paul. It's going to be great. Nina Moyney followed along as one of the teams taking part in tomorrow's event. Got some training from tug of war experts. All right. Hands into you, shoulders back, core's tight. They're no strangers to teamwork. All right, count it down. Five, four, three. Get into it, get into it. Two, one. Down and oh, drop down, push, 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 push. But the women of Glamdahl Donuts, representing Minneapolis, are brand new to tug of war. Shoulders back, shoulders back, shoulders back. All your instincts are wrong, basically. <laughs> Lucky for them, DJ's tug of war club out of Lakeville is on hand to give a lesson. Hold it right there. We started out 30 years ago pulling local fairs and just got carried away with it. We compete nationally and internationally now. All right, are you all lined in? You all where you want to be? Founder Bill Gallagher says almost anyone can get the hang of the sport. First thing you tell them is just try to stay together, stay long, you want your shoulders back, keep both feet on the ground and out in front of you. <laughs> It may be easier said than done, but practice is key. One, hold, get after it, get after it. These people are amazing and super strong. Take strength. The competitive athletes eventually steady take on the newbies. Hold, go, 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 go. You want to use your legs; they're strong, so you want to be able to push with them. But it's a lot of core muscle, actually. All right, break. <laughs> That's good. Team Glamdoll holds its own, feeling better prepared for Saturday's matchup against the Minnesota Roller Girls out of St. Paul. We're not going to give any more secrets away yeah. to the Roller Girls. Nina Moyni, WCCO 4 News. Okay, 9 in the morning is kind of mm -hmm. when things open up mm -hmm. there at Hidden Falls Regional Park in St. Paul. It's going to be a big party, so you'll have the poles, of course. Of course. The tugs. Mm -hmm. The tugs. Of war. Mm -hmm. But there are going to be food trucks. Uh, there's going to be stuff like a whole kids activity yep. area. Mm -hmm. so. Live music will be there. Yeah. Yes. But you get to watch, uh, kind of looking down on the tug of war. Tugs, right. tugs of war, excuse me. <laughs> yes. Because there are the more than one. Is. Like, yeah, yeah. That's, we keep talking about Team Minneapolis and Team St. Paul. Mm -hmm. But to get the win, it's best of 10. Best I'm a little 10. worried. Oh, what you? are you worried about? Well, I haven't been practicing. Judging right. by that, Glam I don't Doll. know. I'm glad we're not pull, pulling against Glam Doll. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> so the biggest thing about this alley, the awesome part, is the money. And look yes, at look at how Minneapolus, 92,000. Wow. And St. Paul, 89,000. So please, mm -hmm. if you'd like to make a donation, you can just go to WCCO.com slash pulling together. Not surprising who's in the lead right now. I mean, five figures are great, but it'd be nice to see six-figure totals here. Right? Oh, that would be awesome. There's still there. time. Two more days, so let's uh, get it done.